Hey people, this is Wee187 and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy 13. In the last part, Fang joined our party at long last. Yeah, look at her. You know, she's so tough, she's awesome. Oh yeah, we're here, hello. Yeah, I'm just looking and admiring your architecture. Oh man, there's some lag here. Uh, I should probably pause it for a second, sorry about that. Bring it on. Okay, sorry about that. If I had randomly cut, it's like right after my intro, because uh, uh, I suddenly got really random lag, and you know how that goes. It's a pain. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's continue on here. Oh man, I forgot to pause my timer. That's okay. And do we actually have? Oh, we don't have a. I just. Re oh, we don't have a uh, a medic. Uh, just a normal medic one. And I was, I was like under the assumption that we could use potions, but we don't have a doctor's code. So that's not gonna work so well, is it? Oh, well, let's just see if we can end this fight fast. I mean, we do have that one medic, oh, the medic paradigm, but I don't want to have to use that because that's a. Well, I guess I could. It's, it's. I have sap and salve. That's the only healing paradigm I have. That's that's a pain. Uh, oh, you're staggered there. Okay. Let's just go on ahead and attack you then, Mr. Staggered One. Finish you off. Oh yeah, Fang is so awesome. You have no idea. Just, uh, I mean, yeah, she only has three uh, ATB bars right now, and that—that's her one downfall. But you know, that, that's okay. You know, everyone is gonna have, have like all of them by the end. But you know, just awesomeness. Look at that. I mean, yeah, I didn't do so well because I had to heal there. But let me actually go change that now. Uh, instead of having that double, uh, we'll have a. Yeah, a war and peace. That's what I want. Okay. So I guess we don't actually need to have any doubles at all. That's okay. Oh, hello. I'm in charge here. Let's go. Uh, I don't think we fought this. This is an Orion. Uh, let's Libra-cate it. Good thing Fang comes with Libra. And uh, then we can uh, start uh, tearing it down. It's actually weak to uh, water and... Ice, okay. Uh, that's weird. I thought were, later on they start becoming weak to thunder. I don't know why they're not now. Unless it's maybe only when they're staggered that they're weak to thunder. That could be um, a possibility. Anyway, what you want to do is, since you don't have a Ravager uh, for Fang, just use her Saboteur and it'll work just as well. It's kind of like a, a mix. And then, you know, she'll start only casting one because once it actually has slow, and then you can just go fill it up yourself. And the reason why I didn't want to get Sloga was because then if I auto battle, then she'll just automatically do Sloga instead of slow when there's more than one enemy, and that can be a little bit of a pain when I'm just trying to stagger. So I will go and get Sloga after this one small segment um, with her, but uh, for now, I just want... I, I don't need it yet anyway. It's not really important. And I don't have to heal Lightning, because we're good. It's dead. Thank you, Lightning. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Five wonderful stars and a superconductor. That's awesome. Hello. You know what, I was about to cut this fight, but then I realized this is like Fang's third battle ever. I can't go cutting Fang battles. Not yet. We just started. Yeah, I'll, I'll show this one, then I'll, like, once, once you know, Fang battling gets kind of normal, I'll start cutting again, which might be after this battle. It depends here. But yeah, she just deals so much damage. It's great. And actually, for Fang, I, uh, there's a couple weapons that are good for her. Uh, I actually... Like, in my latest playthrough, I, uh, used a new weapon, uh, that has, uh, an anti-stagger thing, or it has stagger lock, where her stats are increased, but, um, but she can't stagger, and I mean, I think I'm not gonna do that this time, just cause I kinda prefer, uh, the bladed lance, and the bladed lance is actually her initial weapon, so I think, uh, even though I'm gonna get all her weapons, well, like, most of them, um, she's gonna stick with the bladed lance, and we're just gonna work on upgrading that as we, as time goes on, you know. Uh, thank you. Awesome. You died. Great. You know, you're stuck in that perpetual flush. Oh, I didn't tell you guys about that. Um, uh, the other day when I was at school, in the CDM building, which is the College of Computing and Digital Media, uh, I was in the, uh, fifth floor bathroom, and there was this floy that, uh, this floylet, <laughs> this floylet, oh my god, this toilet that was in perpetual flush. It was not, it would not stop flushing. The water just kept churning. And I actually came back five minutes later to see if it was still flushing. And sure enough, <coughs> it was still flushing. It would not stop. 
<sighs> that toilet just kept going. That floilet. It's crazy. Oh, I'm out of water. Oh no, I have another bottle here. Who are you? Uh, where do hey, you I start? You don't know each other. <laughs> I've got a few screws loose, but I'm a lessee, same as you. Hmm? Difference being, I wasn't born on Cocoon. What? I'm from Grand Pulse. The world below you all hate so much. My partner and I turned a crystal there and gone to sleep. But when we came around, here we were. The reason Cocoon's in such an uproar is the same reason you're here now. Vanille and I woke up. Whoa. Vanille, huh? You two are connected? Yeah, they actually did hint that earlier. I didn't say anything. But, uh, yeah, they are. Which is so unexpected, because they came from two totally unconnected parts of the game, you know? The Sanctum follows foul sea orders. It's not just after the sea. They'll target civilians and perch everyone who's a threat. More innocents get killed. Can't take the blame for that. Someone has to. We can still save him. We let loose and bring the army to us. Draw their fire. I'm supposed to protect. Sounds you. good. I can't let this happen. It's a tough call, that's for sure. It's only one choice, I guess. I try to save everyone. Yeah, victory. <laughs> So, Hope, are you with me on this? You just need to look out for yourself. Yeah, we got this. Shouldn't be too hard. Because I'm in the one in control, not Snow. You know, I'm working with Hope here. There goes nothing. Uh, is there anything back there? Yeah, there is. I like how they have the intercom thing going on in the background. That's cool. And you can actually, if you go back here, you can see people. That's cool. And I don't know how they got here, because there's it's a dead end. Uh, if you look on the map. <coughs> oh my god, bless me. I was not expecting to sneeze. I never sneeze in a video. That's so weird. Uh, hey, people. Let's, uh, not you, people, but, like, people, people that I'm about to kill here. Let's go kill you. Yeah, bring it on. We got four ATB bars again because we're snow. Uh, oh, these guys are actually no, they're the same. I thought they might have been a little tougher, but they're just as weak as I remember. I don't know why I'm showing this battle actually. You know why am I showing this battle? I'm wasting time here. But you know, I'm not gonna mid cut it off. That would not be fun. That would not be wise. That would not be right. That that is my least favorite thing to do. My stomach was having. What does he say? Is like my my stomach was my stomach was having the rumblings that only hands would satisfy. I love that. Llamas with hats. If you have not seen llamas with hats, you need to go watch it. It is hilarious. Just go on YouTube and type in llamas with hats, and there's four mini four mini videos that you need to watch, and it, they're they're amazing. They are hilarious. Um, th those are like one of some of the first YouTube videos I ever saw. I loved them. Not some of the first. They were pretty early on in, like, you know, way back. They were really old, but still. They're great. Um, hello. I will cut out this battle. Okay, yeah. Alright, I'm back now. Hey, what are you doing? Someone said. I, I almost forgot. Oh, yeah, I have to go back to recording. Oh, don't run away, girl. Let me talk with you. Oh, wait, no. I suddenly started a battle. How would they know that I wanted to start the battle? I have no idea. I'll show this one because it's a preemptive strike. And you know what, at this point, why not? I don't think I missed any treasure chests. And I got another text, I'll have to check that in a second. I don't wanna, oh, I could check it now, but I can wait. I have that amount of willpower, I can wait. Probably just Twitter anyway. 90, 
yeah, like I said, 90% of the time it is Twitter. Because I get tweets sent to my phone often. Especially if someone mentions me on Twitter, that'll go to my phone. And smack! No problem. Do problem? It sounded like you said do problem. Um, yeah, okay. That's cool. Uh, there is a... Did I miss it? Hold on a second. I think I did. You can jump up here. Yeah, I, I always forget about this. Not here, I'm just double-checking there. Yeah, you can jump up here, and there actually is a treasure chest up here. He wins! Awesome. Yeah, I don't remember what it is. We'll find out. Oh, it's two incentive strips. Okay, that's money. Sweet. Come on down, Hope. It's not that big a fall. I love the music. Like, Snow's theme is one of my favorite the themes in this game. It's so good. It just it matches his personality so, so well. Snow well, you know. Nice, we got a Phoenix down and a Deceptisol in that fight. I just find that kind of hilarious that he acts like the parent there. <laughs> That's just it's, it's weird. It's a little random little thing that they threw in there, I guess. Anyway, uh... When is the next save point after this? I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, we do have some stuff coming up. I actually might... Um... Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually gonna take the time to Crystariumize a bit, and then I'll end off the video, just cause, I mean, I don't want to, it's kinda short, but, uh, I think it is, uh, in our best interests to, yeah, let's work on Ravager here, just because, um, we got a lot of stuff coming up here, lots of cutscenes, and I'm not sure when the next one is, the next, uh, save point, and, um, yeah, you know, we're, we're good, we're good, so, in the next part, we'll continue on. Uh, whoa, Thundara. I want that. You want this cake? I want it! And water it too. Awesome. And up there, we cannot afford that. Oh yeah, we're just gonna miss it. Okay, that's fine. Um, hmm. That's good, and doctor's code, and that. Alright, that looks good. So in the next part, we will continue on. Let me save our game. Our game here, my game, our game. Oh wait, there actually is one more thing I can do. Let's go to the shop and uh, go to the Unicorn Mart and sell uh, our credit chips. We have nine of them, so that's uh, 4,500 gil right there. And then the other one, if you can find it, the incentive chips, that's 10,000 gil right there. So yeah, you get money from fighting soldiers. It's not that hard. Um, oh, and I guess... Oh, screw it. We have a little extra time. Why not? I should get these out of the way. I should show off the different shops that we have so far. In the Unicorn Mart, you can buy uh, normal items, you know, uh, just like that. And up in arms, uh, you can buy, uh, like, some level 1 weapons there. Mainly just Snow and Hopes. Oh, no, no. That's the only ones that are up there on the top. But you can buy stuff for everyone there. And in B&W Outfitters, you got uh, beginner level accessories there. If you ever need more, I don't know why you really really would need them, but still. Magical moments, ooh, that looks very woman-y. Uh, you get Auric Armlet and Watchman's Amulet. They're like special accessories. And then Creature Comforts. This is a very going to be a very useful shop uh, later on when we start upgrading, that's for sure. And Lenora's Garage. This is going to be another useful shop. Um, one of the few that I actually use. I, I really don't use these other shops too much. I might use them once in a while, but not really. Uh, I do use Creature Comforts, and I do use Lenora's Garage, and I do like Unicorn Mart, obviously, because that's where I get all my potions. So, yeah. Okay, I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye, everybody.